Howdy, I'm Mikey Diaz, and this is your Olympic Update. The Winter Olympic Games are fast approaching for most countries, except Russia. Last month, the International Olympic Committee suspended the Russian Olympic Committee from participating in the Pyeongchang Games that start on February 9th and run through the 25th. This has come as a response to a long-term issue of Russian athletes using performance-enhancing drugs to achieve an athletic advantage over its competitors. I talked with Phil Drobnik, head coach of this year's United States Olympic curling team, to get his perspective on the matter as a member of USA Curling. So I think the IOC's decision to ban Russia from the uh, Olympics was an appropriate one. The IOC, um, you know, is is the governing body of the Olympics, and the Olympics um, are uh, a place for fair games, and uh, rules are set in place um, for 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 all athletes and, um, you know, athletes work their entire life for, you know, to, to get to the Olympics. It's important that everybody's competing on a, on a level, uh, a, play, a level playing ground. And, um, if the IOC uh, sees that a team is, um, is, is not uh, following the rules or, or not, uh, doing what they, what, uh, the rest of the teams are doing, they, they have to do what they feel, um, is appropriate uh, and sanctioned in an appropriate way. Last month, Samuel Schmid, former member of the Swiss Federal Council, led an investigation confirming that there was, quote, a system of manipulation in Russia of the anti-doping rules and of the anti-doping system, end quote. The report, using witness testimonies, confirms that there's also manipulation of Olympic anti-doping rules back during the Sochi Games. Schmid's assembly recommended, via the Schmid report, the disciplinary actions be taken against the Russian Olympic Committee. For Russia, this comes as a huge disappointment. The nation has been under a lot of scrutiny in international politics the past couple years. And for a time where countries can put aside their differences in play, Russia, sadly, will not be participating. Northampton High School history teacher Ryan Parent has that. I don't think it hurts glo Russia's global image at all, because I don't think most people really pay attention to it. I think there are far greater issues like meddling in our election, dealing with uh, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, and the Ukraine. Those are much bigger issues than the Olympics. Clean Russian athletes will still be able to compete in the Olympic Games, but under the title Olympic Athlete from Russia, not their flag. The screen report also helped lay out a system in which athletes will be granted permission to participate. Players that pass strict regulations will wear special IOC jerseys, and the Olympic anthem will be played in place of the hymn of the Russian Federation. Russian officials have also been banned from going to the games. The ban is in effect until further notice, but isn't expected to keep Russia as a nation from competing in future games. Until next time, I'm Mikey Diaz, and IOC, you later.